Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how to set up payments inside your Shopify store so people can send you their money. Okay, now we're going to add payments to our online store. So if we head over to the dashboard and we go to the home page, there's a couple things we need to set up first before we go and set up payments. The reason we're going to go set up these things first is because payments is going to pull from this information that we put in there. So if we go to settings and we go to general, what we want to do is we want to fill out your store address and your legal business name first. The reason we want to do this is because when we go to set up the shipping settings and when we go to set up, set up the payment settings, it's all going to pull from this information about your location of where you are and that's going to determine your tax rate as well as it's going to determine what kind of processors are available inside your country. Now, um, not all processors are available in all countries. Um, some of them are slightly different. So it's important that you put in your country and your, uh, your province uh, or state or wherever you are when you're setting this stuff up. So under store address, I'm going to just put in our legal business name. Our address is in there. Our time zone is already all set up and our store currency is set. Because I'm setting up my Canadian country, that's what's setting up my default uh, store currency. Now, if I wanted to change this to another country, it would allow me to modify the store currency. So once I've got all that stuff set up, the next thing we want to do is if we hit the back to settings button, we can now go to payment providers. Now, the way that this settings page is set up in Shopify is basically if you start on the left side and you start heading across to the right and then keep going, you'll each one of these components is dependent on the next component. So starting off a general, then heading to locations, then setting up your accounts, then setting up your payment provider, gift card, so on and so forth. Every, uh, every menu you go to will require stuff generated from the one before. So that once you get down to legal, um, you'll be able to generate out your legal documents from the information that you provided it before. If you start over here, it's going to um, just be a little bit more work and we want to make this as easy as possible for you. So the next thing we're on to is payment providers. Okay, so there's a couple things to keep in mind when choosing payment providers. Um, PayPal is the one that we're going to set up right now. Now you have two ways to set up PayPal and it's important to understand that there's two different types of PayPal's that you can set up. Now PayPal offers PayPal Express Checkout, which if you get to your checkout page and you see the little yellow button there that says pay with PayPal, that's PayPal Express Checkout. So PayPal offers a gateway. It's called PayFlow Payment Pro. PayFlow Payment Pro, yeah. <laughs> They've changed the name a few times and they make it harder every time they change it. So if we go into uh, our payments, now I've already gone and set up or started to set up Shopify payments inside of the dashboard but we're going to change the provider here and we're going to go and we're going to select a third party provider and i'm going to show you the paypal pay flow ah here we are paypal pay flow pro this allows you to set up a seamless checkout so you still use the shopify checkout process you still enter in your information it just means the customers don't know that you're using PayPal. Now, why would you want to use to why would you want to use PayPal instead of Shopify payments, for example? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, you might get a lower uh, transaction cost or per transaction uh, fee based on whatever your business is. Now, um, you can work with PayPal to get a lower fee, um, as well as you can work with Shopify to get a lower fee. Shopify payments is based on Stripe. So the drawback from using Shopify payments is if you're in an industry, here's an example, if you're selling supplements, then you are classified under pseudo pharmaceuticals. And being classified under pseudo pharmaceuticals causes a large higher risk for the payment processor. So Shopify payments may not approve your type of payment request through credit card. Um, this means that they feel that the um, risk with pseudo pharmaceuticals is too high for chargebacks, therefore they're not going to offer it to you through Shopify payments, which means you need to go to another payment provider who is willing to take a little bit more risk. Now this is important to understand that this isn't Shopify making this decision. Shopify does have its own risk analysis department, but most of these risks come from Stripe because they're, um, Shopify is a rebranding of 
the Stripe API. When they say that they're not able to offer payments for your business type, it's not something that's coming from them, it's coming from another company who is looking at a lower uh, risk profile for you. All right, so to set up uh, Shopify payments, you can go quick account setup, fill out the information that they ask you, and complete account setup. It's really straightforward. And then you will have everything deposited into your account in three to five business days. If you are going to be setting up PayPal Express, you want to just come down to PayPal, select your payment method, payment method, select PayPal Express checkout. It will redirect you to the PayPal login page. Um, and then you will just have to click on activate. And once you log in, and authorize your account. Now your account needs to be set over to a business account, but once you authorize your account, so I'm gonna sign in here with PayPal, it will say my site has been successfully authorized by Shopify, and then I can go back to Shopify. Now if anybody goes through the payment checkout process, it's going to give us the little yellow button which allows them to pay by PayPal, and then they can send us the money. You have alternative payment methods if you want. You have uh, some Bitcoin, you have a firm, which is uh, layaway, um, and then you have a bunch of other uh, third-party uh, payment providers that you can set up. Um, you can always go with manual payments if this is something that you would like to have cash on delivery, if you want people to say you send you a bank deposit and money order, this is another way of doing it. Now keep in mind this is going to slow down your growth because you would have to manually approve each uh, transaction but if you're in a position where you're doing high ticket items and um, the only way to receive money is through these methods they are available for you all right final options are payment authorization so automatically capture payments for orders or manually capture payments for orders so this would uh, this gives you the uh, button inside the orders dashboard which says I want to capture payment um, once you've verified the order is a legitimate order and you want to go ahead and uh, fulfill it. And that's pretty much an overview of all the things you need to set up for payments. Thanks for coming by. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if that's something that you're into and we will see you in the next one.